Praise the Lord. How many's glad to be back in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Come on here, brother. He Amen. Uh, I'm just just want to see what God's got in store tonight. Amen. We came here tonight. Amen. To have church. Amen. We come here to pray for our president tonight. Amen. Because he needs our prayers. Amen. Because the devils and the witches are wanting to pray against him tonight. Amen. Try to cause a curse to come on him. But if God's people are joined together and agree together, amen, we can bind that. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So let's all stand tonight. Let's ask God to have his way in the church service tonight. Amen. And we just, we just come here to have church. Amen. Bless the heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come to you once again. God, we thank you, God, for another opportunity. God, to be back in your house. God, to be able to give you a praise and to give you glory tonight. God, we pray, God, that you would move in this service. Lord God, not our will, but your will be done in here tonight, God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those that came out tonight, God, that's come to worship, Lord. And Heavenly Father, God, we just pray, God, that you would move in a mighty way. We pray, God, you bless those that are sick that ain't able to be in the house of the Lord tonight. God, you bless them. Lord God, we ask you to bless our live stream audience, Lord God, that tunes us in, Lord, and watches us. Lord God, we ask you right now, Heavenly Father, God, we come against the enemy, Lord God, we come against the devil. God is trying to hinder this service, Lord. And God, we're not going to let it, God, because we're praising you tonight. God. And Lord, I pray you bless the singing tonight. Bless the singers. Uh, move upon the ministers tonight, God. We just ask God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I give you all the praise and all the glory in the church. Say, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm rejoicing now.
Amen. Praise God. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. I thank God that he did this morning. Amen. I went to bed last night. I wasn't feeling too good last night, and I went to bed. Amen. Woke up this morning, wasn't feeling too good. Amen. I guess it's all that grease I eat, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I tell you what, it was just good to know that he woke me up this morning. Right. Amen. Brother Wayne, he didn't have to wake none of us up this morning, but he did. He had, He seemed fit, amen, to wake us up. He seemed fit to give us the breath of life. Right. Amen. I tell you what, I've been praying. Amen. I've been talking to the Lord about some things, amen. And, and only God knows, amen, what to do, amen. How are we going to go to the Lord in prayer? Amen. We got a little baby here, Julia Blinkston. Julia Linkston's baby, amen, they said it's got cancer, amen, it's got brain and spine and bone cancer, amen, I don't know how old the baby is, amen, but they're asking prayer for their baby, amen, yes. hallelujah, and then we got uh, Charlotte Fields, her brother in central Connecticut, says, pray that God gives him strength. Amen. We're going to pray for them. Amen. It's like our live stream. Critical condition. Critical condition. Critical condition. Amen. Uh, pray for him. Amen. Because God can give him the strength that he needs. Amen. Uh, Bobby. Bobby and Bill. Billy Joe. Billy Joe. Dave. Uh, Old. The church prayer put them on a church prayer list. Bobby needs prayer for healing. Amen. So remember that. Amen. <coughs> Bobby and Billy Joe Day. Day on. Day on. The church prayer put on church prayer list. Bobby needs prayer for a healing. Amen. We don't have to know what the healing is. Amen. They're already in the prayer box. Amen. Twice. Hallelujah. Uh, so remember that. That's our live stream audience. Amen. We got some more. Amen. Can you remember the lady down in Boonsville, Mississippi? Amen. That needs prayer. Amen. The uh, grandma out in Arizona. Amen. That needs prayer for her grandson and his wife and her grandchildren. Amen. That uh, God, I guess it's her great grandchildren, amen, that she wants to see them saved, amen. She wants to see her grandson off of drugs and, and come back home to his family, amen. And God worked things out, amen. So let's remember that. Also, we got some in Arkansas, in Arizona, Arkansas, amen. And uh, I got some that came in the other day from Connecticut and from uh, Australia, amen, wanting prayer for their bodies, wanting prayer for their lost loved ones. So let's remember that, amen, tonight. Anybody else tonight? Remember the church, the direction of the church. It will always follow the leading of the Lord, <clears throat> letting the Holy Ghost move and have its way. And I have a special prayer request um, for a situation that I know God is going to move in. So y'all just pray that God would have his way. Okay. Yes, amen. Somebody else. Yes, amen. Remember that. Somebody else. Remember me and my lost family. Uh, continue to pray for Randy. They, he went to the doctor and one of the wires in his pacemaker is causing him to be an AFib all the time. So they're not sure if they can do it without going in and doing it. They're not sure if they can re I, I, I don't know, jump start it, whatever they do. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but continue to remember him in prayer. Praise report, Denver continues to get better and better. Amen. When they have told him for 10 years there was nothing else to be done for him. Got to get his affairs in order and all that stuff. They put those three stints in. As a matter of fact, the day after we started praying for him and put him in the prayer box, 
And he said he's not felt that good in 10 years. And they're going to get two more in. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody else tonight. Somebody else. Remember me and my family and my house. Yes, amen. Somebody else. Deborah. Deborah, remember me and I asked for the doctor next Thursday. And Sarah's in the training with me and her brother. Yes, amen. I got to go to the doctor next Thursday, too. I got to go to the dentist. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you remember that? Somebody else. Remember, uh, <clears throat> continue to remember uh, Chris Cash's grandbaby that's in the hospital. Um, either yesterday or the day before they went in and did the uh, four major surgeries on the little thing's heart to, to get it back the way it needs to be. We pray that the Lord touches him and he gets to come home to Yes, amen. Remember that. Somebody else tonight. Remember us in prayer. I like for the church to pray for my family. God knows me. Yes. Amen. Somebody else. Remember Carrie, Jeff, and Peter or Will. He said they got the police to stop when they did the surgery. And uh, Peter and Joe were going to rest. Yes. Amen. Remember that. Somebody else. <coughs> Anybody on live stream tonight, Josh? Yeah. Um. Jan Brown says she needs prayer for healing of her bone, bone cancer. Also, Tammy K. Posey, prayer for her diabetes and arthritis. Um, uh, Jan Brown said put her in the prayer list, please, and her sister-in-law. They live in Jasper, Texas. And that was it. Amen. I, I remember that. Though. Also remember a, a lady down in Panama City, Florida, that watches our church service every night. She said she'd love to be here with us. This is her church. She said pray. She has people to pray for us. Amen. So I'm, I'm glad that she watches. Amen. She's watching tonight. We're going to tell her we appreciate her. Amen. Anybody else tonight? Got one more off live stream. Sharon Pittman said, please keep her. her please keep me in your prayers. They're in a spiritual war. Really need them now. So so do both my daughters for their safety. Thank and God bless you all. Yes, I got a, a, a lady, amen, well, the other night on the church site, amen. She said she wanted us to pray for their church. Amen. There in Connecticut, they're going through some things right now. And said pray for their church that God would send them a good revival. Amen. It would help them to help their church and what they're going through. Amen. So. Let's pray for that church, amen. God can move in that situation, amen. Somebody else. Remember Sister Julie Carey and her kids and Sister Karen. Yes, amen. Remember them. Sister Julie's off her arthritis. As cold as it is out now. Amen. It really, really, she's got it real bad, amen. So remember her. Also remember uh, Nora's brother, Rusty. Amen. Just the other day, it was been a year since his wife had been gone, amen. And I know it was rough on him, but he made it through, amen. God helped him, amen. The girls, remember them, amen. They need prayers too also, so remember them. Uh, remember our church, amen. Like Sister Nor said, remember the direction that we're going, amen. The devil's mad, and I am glad. You know why? Because we're a church that's on the move, amen. God the move, God the blessing, amen, and that, that, the devil don't like that, he gets mad about it, amen, but we're not giving up, we're not laying down, amen, we're marching on, amen, amen. I made up my mind a long time ago, amen, I've come too far to turn back now, there's a song, amen, I've come too far, amen, to turn back now, I, my journey is to heaven that awaits, amen, I'm, I'm looking for the mark of the high calling, amen, because I know Amen. One day after a while, we're going to cross over to the other side. Amen. If we hold on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God let us know Sunday morning. All we have to do is hold on. Let him fight the battles for us. Amen. Amen. He'll win. 
Amen. We might not, but he can. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody else before we pray. Remember all the little children out there getting candy tonight? Amen. Because they're they already found some drugs and some candy that some people had trunk or treat. That's bad. You go to a trunk or treat and they find traces of heroin and cocaine in the candy. It's bad. We need to really pray for our kids. Pray for the states. Amen. He needs our prayers. Pray for our soldiers. Amen. They're right now they get orders and things from the president and from the main office, amen, of the army of what they're doing these raids on and God knows how he's sending them up how he's setting them out. He's, he's setting them up. God's doing it. Amen. He's getting tired of them killing the Christians. Right. Amen. So let's remember them. Remember our president, our vice president. They need our prayers. Amen. Yeah, the election that's coming up Tuesday morning. Amen. Pray for the right ones get in office, pray for Matt Bevin. Amen. If people will go to the polls and they vote the right way. If you don't believe in abortion, don't go vote for abortion. If you don't believe in little babies being killed, don't go vote for the one that kills the babies. If you don't believe in marijuana, don't go vote for the one that's going to put marijuana in Kentucky. Amen. That's all brought you're not supposed to do that behind so why not? Amen. Vote for the one that you know that's right. Amen. Amen. The one that says yes, yes, yes. Or the one that says no, no, no. Well, the one that says no to the abortion, one says no to marijuana, no. One says that we're going to put God back in the school. The one that says that we're going to stand up for Christians. We're going to stand up for the church and state. Not the one that says that he goes to church. And he claims to be a church person, but he believes in killing babies. He believes in uh, pot. He believes in QLB, whatever it's called. Q LGB. Whatever it's called. The gays. The homosexuals. The transgenders. The, I'll just come out and tell you what it is. Perverts. Amen. Oh, Brother Miller, you ain't supposed to talk about the homosexuals. You ain't supposed to talk about the gays. You ain't supposed to talk about the lesbians. Why not? They talk about the church. They put the church people down. They got a soul. I love their soul. I don't love the sin. I don't have to put up with sin. But if you put them kind of people in office and you're supposed to be a child of God, shame on you. Amen. I'm just going to tell you straight up. If you confess to be a child of God, you confess to be a Christian, and you confess the name of Jesus Christ and you believe in killing babies and you believe in homosexuality and you believe in transgenders, you're telling that God is not real. Amen. So you need to check your own salvation. Amen? Because you ain't got the right salvation. I'm just going to tell you. Amen. Amen. I'm straight up. A lot of people get mad at you because you say something like that, but it's time that God's people starts taking a stand. Amen. Amen. Too many of them wants to pat them on the back and say it's okay. Well, it's just because it's just, no, it ain't. You don't use it. Last election, I got into it with the, one of the men that run for office, and his wife got so mad at me because I told him if you're giving drug, you're supposed to be a Christian, and you're going to hand out needles to help the drug addicts with the needles. Amen. I said, you ain't a Christian. Well, you ain't supposed to judge. I'm not judging. But you don't give a drug addict needles to help supply their drug habit. Amen? Right. I don't care who you are. If you want to give drugs away, give them the ones to the ones that have cancer. Help them have right. cancer. Amen? You say, Brother Miller, that ain't right. Yes, it is. I know they probably don't like what I'm saying. Amen? But I don't care. Amen? I'm tired. I'm fed up with the way people's doing around here. Amen. Amen. I'm tired of the church. It's just standing up not saying nothing. Amen? Churches need to start taking a stand. They can take a stand against everything else, but when it comes to something like that, they won't stand. Amen. 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 Right. The one that thinks alcohol is good for you, the one that thinks that you can go out here and commit unfortunate, you can have fornication, commit fornication and all that stuff, everything's okay. It ain't nothing wrong with it. All I got news for you, it's wrong. Amen. 
in sin. I don't care what. It, the Bible said it was sin. It's still sin. Amen. 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 People want to cover up sin, hide sin, but you can't do it. Amen. 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 It ain't, you, you can't hide it. Right. I'm just going to tell you what to the point. You can't hide sin. And they think, well, I'm, i got a title on my name. I go to this church. And it'll help me get elected as long as I let them know I go to this church and I do this and I do that. Amen. I don't care what church you go to. If you believe in killing babies, you're going to hell. I'm just going to tell you straight up. Unless you get your life changed. Amen. Because God ain't, God ain't in you killing babies. He said the seventh thing that he hated, and that was the shedding of innocent blood. And when you kill one of them babies, you're shedding innocent blood. That's just like I told somebody the other day. I said, you might not do what they do. But if you go along and do what they do, you're just as guilty as they are. Amen. If you try to hide their sin, and you know they're sinning, and you don't say nothing about it, you're just as guilty as they are. I say, Brother Billy, you're all disturbed tonight. Yes, I'm, I'm stirred up. I am stirred up tonight. Amen. I, I, I'm telling you. People think they can. This is what burnt me up. The other night I heard a preacher say the other night. He said, Well, David committed adultery. David committed murder. Abraham committed adultery because his wife let him have her servant to have a baby by because she knew he was wanting a baby. Lot had sex with his daughters, got drunk. Moses, he done things he wasn't supposed to do. He got mad and he smoked the rock. And, and uh, that caused him from going over into the promised land. All down to the back, well, the woman, she got caught in the act of adultery. I don't care what people got caught at in the Bible, but that don't give you the right to go out and do it yourself. Amen. Just because they did it, you think you can go do it and everything's going to be okay and God's going to forgive you. I wouldn't want to dare to try it. Amen. I wouldn't want to try that. Thank you. Well, one of them said, well, now we can have concubines because they had them back in the Bible days. One of them in the Bible had a hundred concubines. <laughs> Thousands. Oh, but it's okay because it was in the Bible that it's okay that we can do this stuff. Jesus said it was sin. Amen. Amen. He said it was sin. It's against the Bible. It goes totally against what the Bible says. See, Jesus said when he died on the cross, he ripped the veil between twine, ripped it right in half. Amen. And he destroyed that law, the Mosaic law. Paul said that a man to be a deacon of a church, he had to be the husband of one wife. Right. Be able to rule his own house. If he can't rule his own house, how does he think he's going to rule the house of God? A bishop. To be a bishop of a church, you got to be the husband of one wife and be able to rule your house. <laughs> See, a lot of them don't read that word. They go against contrary to the word of God because they don't study the word out and what the word says you have to do. Amen? I don't know what got me off on this, but God does. Amen? I'm just telling you, if you go vote Tuesday, vote for the right one. Amen? Choose the right one. Yeah. If you don't, don't go vote, then you're just giving them up. up and you're just saying, okay, go ahead. Anything that wants to get in, you can get in. Like it, it is a Christian's duty to go vote. It's a Christian's duty to go vote to stop the evil. And if they don't go and vote, then don't gripe about it after it happens. What goes on, don't, don't, don't gripe. 
Vote for the one that does not believe in sanctuary cities. Don't, don't. Yeah, the one that wants to get a sanctuary city. Do you want Kentucky? Do you want that sure law in Kentucky? <coughs> Sheree law. You get that Sheree law, you know what that is? Sure, old man can go out and have sex with a young girl and ain't nothing you can do about it. And you women don't wear things over your head. And your women has to wear things over your head. Do y'all want to wear things over your head every day? And they're going to take your gun away. They'll take your gun. They're going to have fun trying that. They'll take your uh, Bibles. They want to throw that Korean Bible in your hand. Mm -hmm. So you better think who you vote for. Democrats Amen. Amen. Oh Hallelujah. Somebody else got anything you want to pray about before we, just, before we pray? <laughs> we have an I'm fixing the rug because I figured that'd be. <laughs> we have an appointment on November the 10th, so I won't be here at church on November the 10th. I'll be in Tennessee with DJ. We have an appointment there. Amen. Remember, Remember that. that. Amen. Uh, also remember uh, tomorrow night we'll be having our hallelujah night amen for our kids amen we didn't let our kids go out to trick or treat we didn't have trunk or treat amen but we're going to have a hallelujah night they're going to have a hallelujah party amen. Hey, not a halloween party but a hallelujah party amen there's a difference amen tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Amen. Michael Lyman's house. Amen. Unspoken quest by the raising of your hands. Let's just all stand. Amen. And we'll just pray and ask God to move upon these needs. Bless you, Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we close again. Lord God, as we bring these needs to you, Lord God, you know each and every need. God, you heard each and every one that was given in. Heavenly Father, God, we just pray, God, that you would move, God, upon these live stream needs, Lord God, these live stream requests. This little baby that I got my hand laid up on, God, Lord God, and they said it's got bone cancer. Heavenly Father, God, I come against that cancer. In the name of Jesus, I bind that cancer off that little child right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Lord God, Bobby and Billy Joe, Lord, God, this problem, Lord, that they have. God, I pray that you would move upon, Lord, bless them tonight, God. Heavenly Father, God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, the church, Lord, that needs your help. God, I pray you bless that church there in Connecticut, Lord, God. You move upon that church, Lord. Give them the right one for revival, Lord. Heavenly Father, God, we ask you right now. God, those who live stream tonight, God, that's asking for prayer. You know each and every need, each and every request. You see the hands that went up. I pray you move up. Thank you for the praise reports. God, we thank you. God, we praise you for it. Lord God, we just pray. Heavenly Father, for our president. We pray for our vice president tonight. God, we ask you to be with the Lord, our soldiers, our firefighters, our EMTs. Lord God, our, our police officers, uh, our first responders, uh, I pray, God, you believe with the Lord, touch the Lord. God, I pray for those out in California, Lord, is fighting the fires. Uh, I pray, God, you put a hand of protection upon them. Uh, help them, Lord, God, we ask, Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, uh, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for Israel tonight. Uh, oh, God, we just praise you, Lord. Pray, God, if we did anything wrong, said anything wrong, or anything that's pleasing unto you, ask God you forgive us of our sins. If we sin against you in any way, we ask you to forgive us. God, because we don't want nothing, God, in our life, God, to hinder us, God, from making heaven our home. I pray, God, you be with those that's here tonight. Bless each and every one. God, move in this service tonight. Bless God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you have your way. Bless the singers tonight, Lord. Heavenly Father, God, I praise you. I glorify you. I honor you, God. I lift you up tonight. God, because you're worthy to be lifted up. You're worthy to be praised. God, we give you all praise and all glory and all honor tonight. God, we thank you, God. We pray, God, that they make the right decisions, God, as they go vote. 
Lord, help them, Lord. Help those, God, in the state of Kentucky. Lord, all around the United States in votes. Lord, that they vote, God, for the right, Lord. The one that don't believe in killing babies. The one that don't believe in the transgenders and the homosexuals. And the lesbians, Lord. God, that they'll vote for the ones, God, that stands true. Stands for the rights of marriage, Lord. God, that there is no such thing as same-sex marriage. God, that they stand for the right marriage, Lord. Heavenly Father, they stand for child living. God, Lord, Heavenly Father, let them make the right decisions, God. Lord, get the Christians on their backside. And let them go vote this time, Lord God, we ask. Heavenly Father, God, we just give you praise, glory, and honor. I ask you to have your way in this service. Bless, Lord, tonight, God, we ask, Lord. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor. Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen, Brother Caleb, come on, take up our offering for us. Amen. Brother Michael, breath of offering for us. There is a Bible that's going to be used in the new grade for you. I don't know what. I mean, I have a beautiful day that you provide for us. Also, we will overcome to you tonight. I ask that you uh, please bless this offering. Please bless those that have given and those equally that do not as well. Also, dear Lord, we ask that you uh, bless this and bless this, this money and. Uh, Grow, help, help grow your, your kingdom bigger in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, there's going to be Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, we'll be having Bible study at Michael and Bonnie's house. Amen. We're going to get together and we're going to have Bible study. So, people's been wanting to have Bible study. Amen. So, we're going to have Bible study. What are we going to study on? I don't know yet. We're just going to wait and see what God brings. Amen. But we'll be having Bible study Tuesday night. And I'd like for you to come. Amen. So we can learn more about the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Get that out of our way. Amen. Sister Bobby, start us off tonight.
Don't sing on the fourth. Oh, man. 
I've noticed over the past couple of days, my voice is getting, you know, like, it just wears me out. Everything I do, it just wears me out. Just walking from there to here, I was wore out. And I did, I was like, don't call me for sing. Don't call me and sing. Don't call me and sing. Because I'm so wore out. I'm so exhausted. And I, I guess it's just a bron bronchitis. So just keep me in your prayers because it just wears me out. Praise the Lord. Brother Daniel's down on me. He forgot to call somebody. He had to run home and use his work phone. Sister Misty, come and sing for us.
praise the Lord. I've asked Sister Misty to come up here and testify for us tonight. Amen. Just my God. Obey God. We're going to do some little things different tonight. Amen. Is that all right? Sometimes you have to do things to make the devil mad. Amen. So we're going to do some things different tonight. Sister Nora was singing that song. How we're in the end times and the signs are all around. And you know, I've been thinking about that the past few days and I post a lot of stuff on Facebook and stuff. And you know, the enemy is <coughs> out to try to kill, steal, and destroy. But you know, the, the Lord, as long as we give everything over to Him, He's going to take care of everything. You know, I thank the Lord. And no matter what that I go through, no matter what that I have to face, that he's yeah. always on my side. You know, I first want to thank you for speaking to me. Yeah. You know, the end of my life, and I ask for a greater anointing. You know, I've been praying for the Lord to give me a greater anointing yeah. because I want to sing for him. I want to give him all that I got. And the more that I try to preach, sing, that's the more that the enemy tries to fall. But you know what?
And no matter what that I go through, as long as I just give it over to him that he takes care of everything that I have to go through. And I give him all the praise, honor, and glory for everything that he has done for me and what he's going to do. And I'm just going to keep on, you know, no matter how hard that I have to fight. You know, no matter how hard that the enemy tries to come against me. You know, I told the Lord a long time ago, as long as he'd help me, I'd do whatever I could because I'm making it to the other side. Set the Lord always before me yeah. because He is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Amen. 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 Pray for us, Sister Cassie. You know, I want to thank the Lord for being here tonight. I thank you for the many blessings that He's given me. You know, Mama said that we needed to obey God and do what we were supposed to do. You know, I've been feeling like I'm supposed to come out here many a times and come out here and pray in this church because God said I need some alone time, but that's my fault because I disobeyed the Lord. But you know, God wooed me for that. And when I told this, because everything's coming against our church, but you know what? This is why it's coming against us because we're doing something right today. Yeah. Okay, stand yeah. if he's not right in our backs, then we need to be God. That's what God's doing. That's why the enemy's fighting. 
You know, it's, it's everything. I'm offended. That's offended. That bothers me. And that's all you hear out of Christian people and other people. Is you judging me. That's their first words that they love to say. You're judging me. Let me tell you something. You get in there and live right and do right. And won't nobody have to say that to you. Like people say, 
says, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Pray, get some tough Holy Ghost, and your feelings won't get hurt too much. You'll put the devil on his feet. I've got too much sin, sense. I've got too much sense of the Word of God to lie. Right. Let me tell you something. My life is hanging in the balance. God healed me. I still have to go get checked. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to start lying and lose my healing? Wrong. I'm not going to do it. I fear God. I know He can strike me dead and take me out anytime. I fear God. You can talk about me as much as you please. I'm going to talk about you down on my knees. Let me tell you something. I love the Lord. I love His Word. And I live the best I know how. And I want everybody to go to heaven. But I understand everybody ain't. Everybody's not going to go to heaven. But that will keep me from praying for them. And hoping and praying that they get right and they go to heaven. I love the Lord. Let me tell you something. When you think you're going to inspect my fruit, you better be looking for rotten places on yourself. Because when you've got a plan to report, you got four reporting back at you, as the brother said the other night. Hallelujah. Nobody's perfect. And don't tell the story till you know it all. I ain't got time for you, devil. And like I said, if you don't want to hear what I got to say, don't be asking. Right, don't be asking. Right. I've been in this long enough, right. and it's getting worse. It is getting worse. It's like there's so much jealousy in the world. Right. There is so much jealousy. Well, you can't go out to eat with that one because guess what? That one's going to get jealous because you went out to eat with that one. Well, you can't go over here and go out to eat with that one because that one's going to get jealous because you went out with that one. Right. Get real! Get real! We are here to do God's work. We're not perfect. We're not. Oh, we are out. We gotta all line up to the word of God. We gotta all line up to God's word and do what He'd have us to do. But this pure old fine reporting and this pure old line that these people that's supposed to be Christians is doing, do you have a conscience or do you not have a conscience? Does God convict you of their lies? Hallelujah! Does it even bother you? If it don't, you need a dip at the altar. Nowadays, it's like anybody can do anything and it don't bother them to do it. But I got news for you. You want to hear something from me? Come to me. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not hiding and petting sin. Yet I don't like us. Why? Because we go by the word of God. And we preach the truth. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's strict. But the Bible says if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall a sinner and ungodly appear? It also tells you that judgment must begin work at the house of God. Don't preach me something to limit yourself. Don't preach me something to limit yourself. Can't help it. That's just how I am. I'm almost 60 years old and I ain't backing up now. Word of God is truth. The word of God is truth and I don't care who likes it and I don't care who tries to divide it. I'm standing for the word. Somebody tells me, well, we're doing it this way because God showed us that way and God showed us this way and the word says that way. God's word is truth. It is not contrary for itself. The spirit does not lead in a different direction than the word of God because all we've got is the word of God to go by. And I'm standing with the Word because the Word is truth. Amen. Your opinion and my opinion don't matter. It's the Word and it's truth. Amen. I thank the Lord for everybody here. You know, when, I, when we open this church, I pray. And I know we've had some. and We've had a house full. We've been running over before. Yes. And sometimes we don't have a few. But these big churches that's in this town right here, they can hold their 400. And they ain't got but a handful. So I don't need nobody saying, oh, y'all just got a few. Well, there's churches here that's got a few, and it's bigger churches than this. Amen. But let me tell you something. I'm going to live for God, and I'm going to do what He'd have me to do. 
And I'm going to live for him as if it's my last day because I have to. I have to. I know who draws my breath. I know who draws my breath. I know who gives it to me. I know who lets me borrow it. My Amen. breath. Amen. That's right. And I ain't got time to go around, like Connie said, with the pampers and the bottles. Get off the bottle. Get off the pampers. Get on the meat of God's word. And if you're offended, take it up with God. If you're offended by the word, you need to say, Lord, show me. Because you got so many people that's nitpicking and looking. The Bible says that you strain at a camel and swallow a gnat. Yes. Swallow a gnat and strain at the camel is what it is. Swallow a gnat and strain at a camel. Strain at a camel and swallow a gnat. Right. And here's the thing with that. Are we going to see eye to eye? No, we ain't. Are you going to see eye to eye with everybody? No, you ain't. But when you start nitpicking on every little thing. Amen. You better get yourself lined up because Jesus ain't going to ask you about my sins. He ain't going to ask you what I've done that last week. He's going to ask you what you done last week. And this finger pointing, people say, oh, well, you shouldn't say this on live stream and you shouldn't say that on live stream. i got news for you. This is our live stream and we pay for it. You don't like what's said? Cut it off. Amen. Amen. I've done the it out and how many? Because I've got too many crybabies. Right. Too many crybabies. And I tell you, I love the Lord. I'll help you in any way I can. I don't care if people talk about me. I don't give a flip about it. And I even pray for them. They think I don't know. They think I don't know. I know. But you know what? I don't care. Amen. Life is too short to worry about what people think about me. I gotta worry about what God thinks about me. I ain't got time to worry about what people think about me. And I thank the Lord tonight. I praise Him. You know, I when we up in this church, I said, Lord, you send in the people that needs help, that wants help, because everybody don't want help. That's right. They there is there is some people that says. I, and I don't need nobody to tell me nothing. I don't need to learn nothing because I know it all. So I pray, Lord, you send in the ones that need help, that wants help, that can help us. Because like I said, everybody don't want help. Some people's got me-ism and I-ism. Me, 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 I know, I know. I, 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 I know, I know. Me, me, me. You can't tell me nothing because I know. Well, let me tell you something. God, 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 He knows. And he knows and he sees you no matter where you're at. He sees you. Right. And let me tell you something. You ain't going to answer to me. You're going to answer to him one day. Right. We all are going to answer to him That's one day. Right. So we better shape up or we're going to be shipped out. Right. And we're going to go somewhere we don't want to go. Right. I love the Lord. I appreciate our live stream watchers. But if this live stream, if it's not for you, tune us out. Cut us off. Right. Because this is our live stream. And we will preach the word of God the way God reveals it to us. Amen. Right. And if you don't like it, cut us off. Just like a TV channel, you're watching a movie you don't like, cut it off. Amen. Cut it off. Simple as that. Cut it off. You don't have to go say, oh, they did this and they did that and I didn't like this and I didn't like that. Cut us off. Right. You know, that's what the button on the TV is for. That's what the button on the telephone is for. Scroll on by and cut us off. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Austin. I just want to thank the Lord. And earlier I looked up a little passage of scripture. It's in uh Matthew 5, and this is a word for not only the church, but for those that are around that are talking bad about the church. This is a blessed church. Come on. It's Matthew 5, starting at 3, and be reading probably down to 12. <coughs> Matthew 5. 5, starting at verse 3. We'll wake up. 
If any of this applies to you, or if it applies to the church, say amen. I'm going to read verse by verse. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. There should be a whole lot more amens to that. Amen. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, yes. for they shall be filled. Yes. Right. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Right. Yes. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Yes. Yes. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right. Amen. I'm going to read that one again. Blessed oh. are they which are persecuted right. for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of yes. heaven. Yes. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say yes. all manner of evil against you yes. falsely yes. Yes. for my yes. sake. Yes. But I like this right here where it says, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. I believe that's how we got. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother William. You say, what are you doing, Brother Bill? Well, I'm just following God. Man, I didn't have Austin on the agenda. As everybody wants to say, but when Sister Connie was up here, the Lord said, Brother Ross, amen. So I'm going to turn to Brother Wayne. <laughs> I'm just going to thank the Lord tonight that we do have a place to come worship. Yes, uh, amen. You know, uh, we've been in this thing way too long. That's right, amen. Right. We're back now, saying a lot of things we like and a lot of things we haven't amen. liked. Uh, had to talk to some people the other night. Brother David and I had to visit with some people and, uh, as I was, as we were sitting there talking to them and stuff, and I was listening, and I, I heard this old, old song that come through my head. I, you say, why are you talking about that song? I don't know why it comes to me. I was sitting there listening to them talk, and these were the poor words I heard. Wasted days and wasted yes. nights. Wasted days and wasted nights. Right. You know, we, we let this stumble us, cause us stumble and fall. We let this cause us to do this and this to do that. But if we get our eyes off of God, honey, we're in trouble. Right. You know, uh, Jesus was persecuted, and we, we ought to know we're right. going to be persecuted. Right. You know, uh, we, we ain't going to get out of this thing without being drugged through the mud. And, yes. and uh, we may not be whipped. You know, might be tied to a whipping post, but honey, we're going to have some scars. Yes. And we're going get, to get cut deep sometimes. And, and our flesh may get yeah. a little angry, but we're going to keep that thing under control. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, there's old only sometimes yeah. I, I, I mind fine gets ready about ready to break that chain. Yeah. The other day, I, I mean, I got mad. I told Donnie, I said, I'm fixing to go. I'm fixing to go. My chain's fixing to break. You say, did you repent? I think I did. I ain't going to tell you I did because I was angry and I, after I cooled off. I believe I did. I said, but I was mad. I was mad. Because the enemy was coming against me and, uh, and some things right. that I didn't care for, and, and, and especially some people that uh, I thought a lot of at one time, but, but not no more. Amen. You say you hold a grudge against them? No. The Bible says to shun them. So right. I'm going to shun them. If I see them out, I'm going to speak to them, and I'm going to rebuke them right there and tell them I, ain't, I don't want nothing to do with them because they, they have uh, done some things that wasn't of God, right. and uh, they, they, they no more. And that's going to be their problem, not mine, because I'm going to do what the Word says. I put, I warned them on Facebook. I told them, I said, beware, you've been warned. And I give them three different scriptures. Honey, when I see them, I'm going to do what them three scriptures says. And if they like it, that's fine. If they don't, oh well. I, I don't go around them anyways, but I do see them out. I do stand and talk to them, but not no more. I'm going to walk on like I do with some of the other people that, do, that have done me wrong. I'm going to say, see you, wouldn't want to be. I'm not going to answer for what you've done to me, honey, but I'm going to pray for you. God right. has mercy. Because you come against people that, uh, that, that are God's people and uh, he, he don't like it. You, you say, hey, you know what? Read the Word. Read the Old Testament. Start minding what God, God's got in store for us. You know, He's got a promise for us. 
And I believe with all this is, is to hinder us, to keep our mind off the prize and our heart and, right. and, and things off the Lord and, and the will of the Lord. And I believe a lot of us just, to, I know it is, a lot of us just to trick the devil right. and uh, other people wanting to bring their problems, blame their problems on us. Honey, they ain't going to stand. Right. You know, that, that man we talked to, he, he apologized to somebody else. But he didn't apologize for dragging this church through the mud. Right. He did not. He did not apologize to me and Brother David with not one iota of a hair that he drug us through the mud. Right. You say, why are y'all talking about this on live stream? Because we're tell we ain't telling you who it is. But if you come to us and it don't stop, we're going to tell you who they are. Right. We're going to warn you of them. We're going to tell you how they live and why, why they come to us. They come to us over a bunch of junk that started in their church. And then they want to blame us for all that's happening in the church, honey. We didn't have nothing to do with it. That's exactly what the problem is. They ain't got enough God. They ain't got enough backbone to stand up to the church. They're too much worried about this thing right here in the back pocket or the one to carry on the hill. They're too worried about what's going to be put in there and what's not going to be put in there. You know, uh, they need to get the mind with God. They have uh, in the heart right with God. They need to be worried about that bill all that God provides for. The word of God says he'll take care of us and he'll provide for us because you better. I'm telling you, honey, if you ain't got God in your heart, then you Been 
meeting here and meeting there and doing this and doing that. And not for us. I mean, it wasn't for us. Right. And, and it just seemed like I just couldn't get my mind on the... I would pray and I would think about some things. And, and God, I said, God, you got to give me something. And I just opened up my Bible and thumbed through it a little bit. And, and all of a sudden, you go Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. And the kids are out today, they're going. Tonight, they're going. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Yeah. Oh, but they can't come to the house of God because they don't want to ask God for nothing. Amen, Brother Wayne. They don't want to ask God for anything. Oh, I'll just come to the house of God when I want to come. And when I don't want to come, I'll stay at home. Amen. They don't want to ask God. Say, God, I want you to give me this. God, I need this in the Word. God, I need... See what I've done? Missy didn't have her Bible with her. What did God do? Amen. He gave her that gift she had. Amen, Sister Connie. Amen. Didn't know. Amen. Amen. But she done what God said. Sister Cassie. Sister Norm. Brother Austin. Brother Wayne. Amen. That's how you get your gifts. Amen. You got to be prepared. You got to be ready. Amen. You got to study the Word. You got to ask God. God, what do you want me to say? Amen. Austin said, I had a feeling that you was going to call for me. What did he go to? Amen. Matthew chapter 5. Amen. In verse 3, begin to read. Amen. Let me tell you something. You've got to ask God. Because if you don't knock, it won't be open to you. You don't seek, you ain't going to find it. He said, those that knock and those that seek and ask, they shall receive. Amen. Amen. That's a promise from God. Amen. See, I said, God, I ain't got nothing. Amen. And it come to me to get the ones to, to testify. Five-minute sermon. I didn't tell them to preach. I said, testify. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> See, sometimes causes the devil to be confused. Yeah. He just thought we was going to come in here and sing three little songs and have certain ones to sing a song and, and I'll just cause havoc. But guess what? We confused him tonight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I asked and I asked all those out there on live stream that's supposed to be called child of God sitting their blood bought. They've been born again. They've been, their sins has been forgiven. I ask them Sunday night, amen, to join us tonight and let's pray for our president. Amen. amen. Well, he's not my president. Well, you say you're a Christian, he ought to be your president. Amen. 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 If you're a child of God, you ought to be in there. Amen. I saw the other day, amen, he said the, the, the house might not want it, but he said I got it. And he was holding his Bible up in his hand. Amen, because he reads the Word of God every morning at 3 o'clock in the morning. How many of you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and read your Word? The President, amen, he's got a lot on him. He's got the whole country of the United States of America on him. Amen, not only America, he's got the other countries. Amen, it's asking him questions and things. Amen, because they want to know they want God. The Bible said a prophet's not honored in his own country. That's right. Amen. In other words, we ain't honored here right. in Glasgow, Kentucky. Come on. But guess what? We got millions. We got thousands and thousands of people that watch us by live stream. Amen. And, uh, there they are. They're not in this country. Amen. They're in different countries. Connecticut, uh, Mississippi, Missouri. Uh, amen. I got some from Missouri the other day. I got some from Maryland. Uh, amen. We got them all over Hawaii. Uh, amen. J uh, over in Japan. Amen. Uh, we got people all over the country. All over. Amen. Japan. Uh, uh, Africa. Glory to God. Kenya. J uh, Jamaica. Amen. Pakistan. Uh, uh, amen. We got them in Israel. Amen. It's tuning us in. Why? Because they hear the word of God. And we're not 
not taking their money from them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Go and set churches up. Amen. So they can get the finances off of these off of these churches that they set up. That ain't what it's about. Right. Jesus said to knock. He said seek. And you shall find. Ask. And it shall be opened up to you. Amen. A lot of people don't ask God. That's why it don't get opened up to them. That's why their spiritual mind ain't open. Because they're too busy not asking. That's right. Trick or treat. What you got to give me tonight? The Holy Word. That's right. Amen. Some people don't want that trick. They want the trick that the devil's got for them. Brother Wayne, if I listen to the trick that that devil wanted to give me, Amen. I'm just like Brother Wayne. I'm here. I'm up to here. Yep. Come on. About ready to bust. And I have to keep using wisdom. I had to keep praying to do something bad. Amen. I want to do something bad because they want to try to hinder what God has started. Yep. But I got news for you. God started it. I didn't. I can't stop it unless God stops Amen. it. Amen. Amen. I said, I told him, I said, I'm about ready to bust. Yep. Brother Austin, I, and I've held it in, and I've held it in, and I've held it in. Right after I preached Sunday morning, that God's got the battle to fight. Amen. What do I get? Yeah. That next day, I get a phone call, yeah. a text. And I told him, I said, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to the horse's mouth. Right. Get it all out. So I text the horse. And I told the horse, I said, they said they would meet with you if you wanted to meet. He texted them. No, we, we done got it all set up between Brother David and Brother Wayne. It's all okay. But the horse said it ain't okay with me. That's right. Uh-oh. Amen. And they said that they would, I said, now wait a minute. You said that you would meet with him. If he wanted to meet with you. And if you don't want to meet with him. I said then you'll meet with me. Out there at your church. Because right. I will come to your church. And I will tell the rest of them. What's going on. Amen. Oh you can't do that. That ain't right. The Bible said to rebuke them openly. Amen. Amen. That's the word. That's where you get in the word. And you knock. And you seek. And you find. Amen. He said to rebuke them only that they would fear what? That others would fear what? They would fear God. Amen. Right. What it says. Well, I get a text. And I text this other one. I said, are you going to meet with the horse? You can, yeah, I'll meet. I said, well, let me know when y'all want to meet. Just let me know. I thought it was just going to be me, him, and the horse. Well, come to find out, the horse come, the other one came, but he didn't want to meet by himself, so he wanted to bring somebody else. So I said, if you're going to do that, I'm bringing my sister pastor. Amen. Because three of y'all ain't going to jump on that horse. It ain't happening. Right. You ain't going to jump on the horse in this house of God. You might not think this is a house of God, but I said, this is the house of God. I said, and you lie in this house the same as you lie. You can't lie in this house. This is the house of God. I said, a lot of y'all don't think it's a house of God, but it is. It's been ordained by God. I said, don't believe me? I'll show you some pictures. Yep. Brother Gavin, I showed him the picture of the cherubim standing right up there. Right. That's right. Amen. I showed him the one standing right out in our parking lot during our revival. I said, ain't you tell me it ain't of God? I said, because that cherubim's standing right here. Right. And I wouldn't dare to say something about it. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right. That's right. God gave us that cherubim. That's right. That's right. God said he gave us this place to worship. And I, I told him, I, 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 I was up here. That's right. And God said, 
trick or treat today. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. I said, what, Lord? I ain't going, I ain't going out asking for candy. He said, there's their tribute if they just take it. Right. <laughs> if they'll just take of it. Austin, if we just take of it. We seek it. I've been watching him here lately since he's got back where he needs to be with God. He's getting amen. more and more. Amen. But watching him put stuff on the internet. Yes, amen. And he don't care who it is. Amen. Amen. He'll fire them up. Amen. 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 He'll fire them up. Amen. amen. I put on there, I told him I was proud of him. Go for it. Amen. The Bible says if you can't take correction, Come on. Amen. If you can't take the judgment that's laid out to you, there's something wrong somewhere. Amen. The Bible said, like said, judgment begins at the house of God. Well, the pastor ain't got no business correcting nobody. I beg your pardon, you need to read the word. Amen. You need to read the word. That's right. Amen. Because if I see you looking at a woman that you ain't supposed to be looking at, you won't, don't think I ain't going to correct you. If I see you doing something you ain't supposed to be doing, don't think I ain't going to correct you. But you do it in love. Well, you're not supposed to judge because you're not the judge. The Bible says to righteously judge thee. And I give you another scripture. Brother Austin. He said if we didn't warn the righteous to turn from their wicked ways, then their blood's going to be in whose hands? Hand. Yours. Hand. Who is the righteous? Is the ones that you're saying that you're trying to tell something to and you're judging me. Hand. You're judging me because i done this. Well, I hate to tell you this. Sin is sin. Hand. And sin will get on you and it'll smell. Yeah. It will smell. And it'll show that your Christian life ain't what it needs to be. Because it comes out. Right, right, right. Amen. It comes out. Amen. Some people say, well, Brother Bill, that's why y'all ain't got very many going to your church because y'all too hard on us. Yeah, we, we, well, now, Brother Miller, if you just calm it down a little bit and <laughs> just don't preach so hard on them, they'll, they'll stay at your church. Brother, I have people here that I know that's willing to listen to Amen. the Word of God. That's willing to take what the Word of God Amen. says. Amen. Just because I tell somebody, well, you just let them get up here behind the pulpit with pants on. And you have an argument over that. And that's not right because some people argue against that. And some people argue, hey, I didn't say they can't come out here and say it with no pants on. With their pants on. <laughs> Amen. I didn't say that. I said, who's the word will, let them come. I said, but they're not going to get up here. Right. They're not going to get up here with their pants on. Amen. And he's living right for God. Amen. People say, well, that's just too, that's just wrong. That's why churches are splitting up. That's why Holy Ghost people ain't holy no more. Because they, they do this, they, they pick on this and they pick on that. Well, the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see God. Amen. Amen. What did God tell What did God tell Moses? He said, take him shoes off, boy. Right. You take them off, because that place is holy ground. Amen. Amen. In other words, whatever I put behind here, if they're not holy, then I'm in trouble Amen. for it. Amen. Amen. Because I pray, I say, God, I ask God, I seek and I ask God, God, who do I need to get up here? Who do I need to call? Who do I need to get to pray? Because I'm afraid to put somebody Amen. up behind here that ain't hooked up with God. Amen. Well, you let this denomination come out here and preach at your church, and, and you don't believe like it. The Bible said if they're for me, they're not against Amen. me, right? Right. Right. right? right? Is that the word? Right. Amen. Now, if they're against me, I wouldn't let them. I can go down there and fellowship with them. They don't say nothing to me. They don't say nothing the way I believe. They know how I believe. They don't say nothing against me. 
I don't say nothing against them. We fellowship one with another. People have got tied up. They've got tangled up, amen, in religion. they got tangled up in names on the doors, amen, instead of what the key thing is. And the key thing is not, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Ask, and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. The only way you're going to do it is to get into the Word. Amen. It's the Word of God. Who is the Word? Jesus. He said, I was in the beginning, and I'll be in the end. He said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Amen. Who? 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 The Word was God. The Word was what? God. I, I don't have no pick against anybody. Amen. I can fellowship with them as long as they want to fellowship. They don't try to change you. And they don't try to change me. Amen. And I don't try to change them. Because when you start doing that, you're arguing the Word of God. And the Bible said, do not argue the Word of God. Oh, that's right, amen. I know people don't like it because we, uh, I'll just come out and tell you. We have blocked people from live stream. Amen. Until I get this straightened out. And when I get it straightened out, then they'll be unblocked. Amen. I ain't picked against nobody. I ain't come against nobody. Amen. But when I get it all out and open and it's all done, I'll open the live stream back up. Right. Amen. Amen. I ain't got nothing against nobody. Amen. But to keep things down and keep the gossip and keep the talk down, the live stream is no longer on their church services. Amen. They cannot see it. They can't stand it. Do you know the devil cannot stand it because he can't get on there to see That's what's right. going on? Right. 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 I have to come to me and say, well, it's the way you've been preaching. And the way you've been preaching, you've been throwing it at us. I said, do what? I said, you need to listen. I said, unless you're guilty of it. Because if the word makes you guilty, then it's yeah, you're guilty. I said, but you ain't going to tell me what to preach. And I ain't going to tell you what to preach. But I am going to tell you, you need to line your pulpit up. You need to get your pulpit dressed. Right. Amen. Amen. I said, because we all fix to leave this place and we ain't got time for this stuff. That's right. Man. There's no time for bickering and fussing and biting and backbiting. Amen. The Bible said fellowship one with another. Amen. Well, we can't go over there to this church huh. and preach because they ain't got that many. And we've heard so much about that church that we just can't go there and preach. Yes, well, if you was called of God to and you're supposed to be an evangelist, you ain't supposed to stay in your home church. Amen. An evangelist is supposed to go out and preach the gospel. Amen. A pastor is supposed to stay in his church yes. and preach the gospel. An evangelist is supposed to go out. Amen. When they're asked to go preach, they're supposed to go and preach the gospel. That's the way I see it. Amen. What did Jesus tell him? He said, I'm going to send you out by twos. Yep. Amen. He didn't say that the whole. He said, I'm going to send you ministers out by twos. That's right. You know why he done that, Brother Austin? So they'd be a witness with them so in case a woman tried to interfere in with it. The devil will try to get in there and interfere. Yep. And guess what? Some of them does it anyway. Yep. They'll let they'll open that door up for the devil to come in. Amen. They don't read the word. They don't seek. And they don't ask God what they need to do. I've seen too many evangelists, too many, go out on their own and leave their wife at home. Started out doing good, and then got later and going on, yep. going on. Yep. And the devil sent somebody in that revival, get them to flirt, give them eye candy. And that evangelist to say, well, my wife's at home. She won't know what's going on. And before you know it, they're fooling around on their wife. And their wife, Brother Gavin, finds out. And they still want to try to preach the word of God. Amen. Well, my Bible tells me, amen, that no sin is going to enter in. Right. And I told them, 
I don't want to be in your shoes. You ain't going to see me get up here and preach the gospel if I got sin in my life. You ain't going to see me standing up behind this pulpit because I got the fear of God. Right. You ain't going to see me up here if I'm fooling around with my wife. You ain't going to see me up here trying to preach the gospel because it ain't going to happen. Right. Amen. Because it'd be, I'd be done. If I was going to do that, I'm done. Because I fear the Lord. I fear Him. And my wife would end it for me anyway. But Amen. I'm just telling you. But a lot of them thinks it's okay. Amen. Because, like I said a while ago, because Abraham committed adultery yeah. on Sarah. And God still blessed her. Amen. Because that David was up on the balcony, just like some ministers gets up on their pulpit, and they look out across the crowd, and they begin to lust. The Bible said if you look upon a woman, and you desire to have that woman, you've done committed lust in your heart. You've done committed adultery. Amen. You've done lust. Amen. You've done conceived it already. So David went up on the balcony, and he looked out off on the balcony, and he saw that sheep over there taking a bath. And the Bible said that what did David do? He looked again and lust entered into his heart. And he sent for her to bring her to him. Yep. And when they brought her to him, he took her to his bedchamber. Yep. And the Bible said they committed adultery. Yep. And David got her pregnant. Yep. And when David found out that she was pregnant, yep. her husband, Moriah, yep. was out in the war fighting. Yep. And he sent for him to bring him out of the heat of the battle, bring him out of the battle, and bring him to him because he was going to say, now you go home and you sleep with your wife because you need to do that. You need to go and do that. And Mariah said, you're my king. And I ain't going. I'm not going home. He said, yeah, you need to go to your wife. You need to go sleep with her. Why? Because he wanted to cover up what he had done. Amen. He knew if a right, if he'd have went home and slept with his wife, they'd have said, now, that, now she got pregnant by him. Because I brought him home and he was with her and he slept with her because he hadn't been with her for a while. He'd been out fighting. So he's with his wife and they slept together and now she's pregnant. And I'm, I'm covering up my sin. Oh, but the next morning, the king got up, thought everything was all right, everything was covered. Ain't that like some of them today? Yeah. There it right was, he's laying outside the gate, uh, outside on the porch, sound asleep by the door. They said, why didn't you go home? Because you're my king. And I'm, I'm here for you. But you needed to go home and sleep with your wife. It made David mad. So he sent for us. Head soldier, he said, come get him. Take him out there and put him in the very heat of the battle. Put him right in the middle of the battle. Lie, put him right on the front line. Get him right out there, right out there where he can get killed. Got him out there and he got killed. Now David had murder written on his thing. How do you know this, Brother David? Because I read the Word. That's right. Amen. I seek. Amen. He said that David, amen, Bathsheba, she had that baby. Brother Wayne, no doubt it was probably a pretty little baby. But for one thing, that baby, amen, as it got a little older, it fell off the wall. And it broke his neck. Yep. And it died. Mm -hmm. And they come and told him, said the baby's dead. Can you imagine what just went through David's mind? Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that David didn't just give up and quit. The Bible said David went to where he got a hold of God. I believe he went back to where his head was anointed with the oil. 
And he said, let it run over till my cup overflow. I believe he went back and he said, Father, I pray that you won't withdraw your Holy Spirit from me. In other words, he said, Lord, don't take it away from me. Give me another chance. Give me another opportunity to make things right. And God did. But David didn't try to hide it no more. They said, well, what about David? What about your son? What, what about that baby? He said, I can't go. I can't bring him back, but I can go to him. That's right. But in other words, the only way he could do it, he had to get it under the blood. That's right, yeah. Amen. See, be sure your sins will find you out. That's right. Seek. Seek. And you shall find. Knock. Brother Austin, you couldn't find it on them video games, could you? Caleb, you couldn't find it on them video games, could you? Brother Josh, you couldn't find it on them, live, on them streaming things, could you? How did you find it? You had to get back into the Word. You had to seek. Amen. You had to seek to get that treat that God had for you. And it wasn't a Butterfinger candy bar. It wasn't a Reese cup. It wasn't gummy bears. Amen, but it's the Word of God. See, when you seek and you search that Word out, you're going to find your goodies. That's what the Lord showed me today. When He said trick, trick or treat. He said, you got to get the goodies out of the Word. you got to study the Word in order to get your goodies. You see no goodies if you don't ask. And you're not going to receive them if you don't seek for them. And He's not going to come if you don't knock, pray, seek. I can take these little kids and let them go trick or treating outside. But if they don't go up there and knock on that door, they're not. I can take. So here, here you go. Go get your candy. If they stand back away from that door and don't ever knock, they ain't going to put nothing in their little basket. In their little pumpkins, their little Walmart sacks. But if they'll go up and say, Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. And they'll drop that little candy. Oh, bless you. Oh, but that's just a pretty little cost. Bless your heart. And they'll just drop two or three little candy bars in there. And if they're stingy, they'll just put one in there. Amen. But ain't you glad that when you come to Jesus, Jesus, will you please show me this in the Word? Amen. Will you please let me know where that good nugget is in there that I can receive that good nugget? Amen. That I can chew on it? Lord, there's a scripture in there that I know it's in there, but I don't understand where it's at. Can you open it up and let me find it? Let me seek a little bit and let me find that word where it talks about it's good to have butter and honey on a biscuit. <laughs> Lord, just can't you just show me that word that's at in the word? God, I'm knocking on the door. I'm asking. I'm seeking. I'm praying. I'm searching. Lord, will you show me where that good is at? Where you said that it's flowing with milk and honey. Lord, can you just show me in there? Amen. When the three Hebrew children were thrown in the flame of fire. The fire would you just reveal that to me and let me see what it was? Amen. Ain't God opened it up to you? Ain't you glad that you got some good nuggets tonight? Amen. Sister Misty gave you some good candy. Amen. Amen. She gave you some good Holy Ghost candy to chew on. Amen, sister. Kind of come along. Amen. Get some good old Holy Ghost candy bar to eat. Amen. Hallelujah, sister Nora. Get you some good old gummy bears to chew on. Amen, brother Austin. Get you some of them paraffin and 
uh, tape that you had to put in your mouth. Ain't you so glad you had some good old Holy Ghost teeth to chew on the word a little bit? Uh, ain't you glad that Brother Wayne came up here, amen, and gave you some of that good old popcorn balls? Amen, or some of them apples, amen, with caramel on them. Ain't you glad you can get some good word from the Bible? Amen, I picked the ones that God said to do. Sister Cassie, amen, she gave you some good old uh, candy, amen, some of them good old hot fireballs, uh, some of them good old uh, sour things, amen, to get a hold of. Amen, when you get a hold of the word of God, amen, it'll let you get something good to eat on. Amen. Sweet to the mouth, but it's bitter to the belly. Hey, you know why it's bitter to the belly? Because the word purifies, it cleans you up. Hey, man, it'll take and give you the right energy. Hey, man, you don't have to go out here and get a mustard drink. Hey, man, word of God, it'll give you the energy, it'll give you the peace, it'll give you the sound mind. Hey, man, it'll give you the gifts of the spirit. Amen. If you'll just seek the word of God and you ask and you knock, amen, he will open the word up to you. But people say, I got all I want. I got saved and that's all I need. I don't need no more. I don't need no more than goodies. Ain't it so glad that you can ask God, God, what is it I got to lay aside to get closer to you? And all the way when he says, I want you to do this, oh God, I can't do that. <laughs> My wife, she runs the house and I just can't do that. I can't tell her how to put clothes on my girls or on my boys. I just can't do that. I just can't do that. Well, why ask God if you don't want to listen to what he's got to say? That's right. I, I seen this thing the other day on Facebook. And this father was talking about his daughter with an iPhone. An iPad. And she well, she was taking good care of that iPad. As soon as she bought it, she went and got one of them screen protectors going on it to keep it from getting scratched up. Yeah. She wanted to make sure it was good. And then she didn't just stop there. She said, Dad, I want to make it look better. So she went out and bought her a cover to go over it to make it look good. And then she wanted to cover that up so everything wasn't getting, wouldn't be able to see what it looked like. And then she wanted to make it look good. And then he looked at her. Good. said, I like that. That's good. He said, well, what about if you... Why don't you think about that about yourself? Amen. Why don't you think about that about yourself, the way you dress? Don't you want to cover up what you got so nobody, nobody out there can't scratch it? And nobody can't look at it? And nobody can't try to, to do something to it? Why don't you just cover up yourself? You, you're more precious than that iPad that you want to dress up, but you want to dress up like a floozy. Amen. In other words, you want to dress up like a tramp. You want to wear them short, short skirts. You want to wear them short, short shorts. Amen. Why don't you dress yourself up? Make yourself look good. Right. See, if people would start doing it themselves, preachers wouldn't have to preach it. Right. Amen. How do you do that? Knock. Seek. Ask. God, do I need to tell my family they need to straighten up? Well, my wife will get mad at me. My husband will get mad at me. And they'll never come back to church. They'll say, well, if, you, if that's the way it's going to be, then I, hey, can I tell you, I know some preachers right now, their wives left them because they preached the gospel. Yeah, that's right. And guess what God done? God took that son that they had and I wonder if that mama got rid of that son because he's preaching the gospel now. Oh. She got rid of the daddy because the daddy said he was going to preach the gospel. Well, if you're going to preach the gospel, each other. And they left. Brother Gavin. But guess what? The son growed up. And God saved him. 
fill him with the Holy Ghost and called him to preach the gospel. Wonder what mama said then. I wonder if she said, Well, I can't have it. I don't want you no more. And I could just see that son say, That's okay, Mama. I'm still going to preach the gospel. Yep. Amen. The daddy's still preaching it, and the son's still preaching it. Amen. I don't care. Amen. People will let their wives and their husbands keep them from getting close to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. True. That's right. I told the Lord the other day, I'm just going to start telling it just like it is. If they don't like it, like Brother Randall said, there's the door. I don't tell nobody to leave the church, but if you can't take the Word of God, you can't take correction. You don't want to be here? There's the door. Just like the other night. Four and a half hours for nothing. For nothing. Nothing. I ain't got time to waste. Their souls needs to be saved. Our live stream audience, amen. Prayer requests. We're seeing results. We're seeing people healed. And it ain't us doing it. It's God. That's why the enemy's coming against the church, Brother Austin. They're jealous. Because of what God's doing. They're jealous because this little church just lets God be God. We don't put a time limit on God. Amen. We don't just come to church for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes and 20 minutes and go home. We obey God. See, some people don't realize I'm trying my best to help you get to heaven. And trying to help myself get to heaven. I'm trying to help these daddies, amen, to take authority over their house like the Bible says. Amen. You're the head of the house, not the kids. When the kids think they can tell the daddies and the mamas what they're going to do, who's the head of the house? Amen. Last time I looked, the Bible said the husband was. Right, amen. amen. Not the girls, boys, but the dad that God put in place there. Amen. The man. That's the word. That's one of the good nuggets. That's why a lot of homes ain't together now because the white horse to run it. If he's a born again Christian and he's on fire for God and he's doing what God did, then he needs to run the house. If he's not, then the lady will take the wife will take Amen. over. That's the word. Read the word. Amen. I'm not for divorces. I don't believe in divorces. Amen. But the Bible said if a husband does not want to, uh, does not. Uh, desire to live there, then he's got a right to go. Let him go. Amen. Just let him leave. Vice versa. Well, Brother Miller, what are you talking about? I, that's what the Word says. Amen. Amen. That's one of the nuggets you can get in there and get a hold of. Amen. Amen. You say, Brother Miller, what are you saying that for? I don't know. God does. Amen. Just like I'm the head of this church, God has put me in charge. Then Brother Wayne, Sister Nora, and Sister Connie. Amen. We're the ones that's got to teach you the Amen. Word of God. That's why we're fixing to have Bible study Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. And I was, I'm going to see how many. Now, this is for the adults. This is not for the teenagers who's old enough to be able to read the Bible and know what the Bible's about. But the adults. Not little kids, not little babies. It's for the adults and the teenagers that's old enough to know what the Word of God's about. Because we're not coming to babysit kids. We're not babies around. We're coming to read the Word of God and study the Word. Amen. Well, Brother Miller, we ain't got nobody to watch our kids. God will make a way. Amen. Amen. God will make a way. If you really want to study the Word of God, we'll see you first night. Amen. I didn't say how long we're going to stay, do it. But I said we're going to start tonight. We're going to have a Bible study. What about next Tuesday night? We might have a prayer meeting next Tuesday night. Don't know. All depends. 
But the only way you're going to learn the Word is you've got to study the Word. Amen. The only way you can preach the Gospel is you've got to read the Word. You can't get your messages off the Internet. You can't get your messages and have them printed out and stand up here and preach it. Amen. Don't work. Right. If you get it out on your knees, get it on. Somebody asked me, I said, I get mine on my knees. I said, sometimes I get it in there sitting on the toilet. Or I get it in the shower. But I get my messages from God. I can hear some other preacher preaching. God will put one little thought. One little word in my head, Brother Austin. And I'll go home and I'll eat on that word, that word, that word that's in my head. And I'll study it. I'll study it. I'll look the scriptures up. I'll search and I'll search. I want to find. I want to find now. You know, Brother Wayne said that he was searching the scriptures. He was reading the word. If Jesus had come to your house, what would he see? If he come and knocked on your door, what would he see? If you just opened the door and he come in. The Bible said we entertain angels unaware. Right. What would you do if an angel came in and sat down there and sit there and talk to you and everything and see what you was doing? Amen. And then he goes back and tells God what's going on in your house. Amen. And then Jesus comes to you and say, hey, listen here. I seen it. I had that my angel down there and they saw what you was doing. Mm -hmm. See, the only way we get our gifts, as Sister Lord gets us a song, the only way we can get our gift. See, some people say, I want the Holy Ghost, but they don't want to seek for it, Brother Wayne. They don't want to seek for the Holy Ghost. They think it's just going to come to them and hand it to them on a platter, but it doesn't work that way. He said, those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Amen. She sings. We're going to pray for our president. One more this day, Jesus
don't last very long. Amen. We're going to hold hands and we're going to pray for our president. Somebody get him on the phone. Amen. Get your picture on the phone. Amen. We're going to. We're all going to join. Amen. He needs prayer. The vice president. Amen. They need prayer tonight. The witches. The warlocks. Are having a seance. Amen. To try to put a curse on them. Amen. And we're going to pray against that. Amen. That's our live stream. Amen. If you're born again, you can be a born again Christian. You join in with us and we're going to pray. We're going to put the mic here. Put the mic. Amen. And I want you to pray out. I want you to pray for our president like you've never prayed before. Pray ahead of protection upon him and our vice president. Amen. Amen. I know this is a small place, amen, but we can all get together. Won't be long and we'll get our blessing that God's blessing in us with and people's trying to think they're going to get us get us uh, upset and aggravated, but we know God's got a promise for us. Amen, and we're just waiting for that promise. Praise the Lord. Come over here, Mom. You sit down on that off right there. Amen. Brother Gavin, you can get Ma's hand right there. Amen. We're going to just ask God, amen, to take, amen, and help our President of the United States. Amen. Hallelujah.
Praise God I'm going to tell our live stream audience, amen, we appreciate you. Amen, we love you. Amen, we don't forget to set your clocks back this Saturday night, amen, at 2 o'clock. Amen, set your clocks back. Amen, or you'll be late for church. I'll be early for church. So, so don't forget, amen, but we love you, we appreciate you. We love our live stream audience, amen. We love those, amen, that writes comments and tells us how much they appreciate the services and that they love this little church and they're glad that they're part of this church. You are part of this church. Amen. Amen. They are part of our church, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Give our live stream audience a hand. Hallelujah. I appreciate them, amen. I love them, amen. We love you. We appreciate you. Tune us back in Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Amen. May God bless you. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Tune us in Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Amen. And uh, just join in and we're just going to have church. Amen. We appreciate you. We love you. Until Sunday at 11 o'clock, may God be with you as our prayers.